Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo and welcome to the leveling guide for leveling from 60 to 70. Now before I continue, this guide is for Dragonest Southeast Asia service where you are able to enter dungeons even when you have 0 FTG. I'm going to be sharing my insights at the start of this leveling guide, it's going to be pretty long and it's very important for you to listen carefully. In this guide, I'll share with you two dungeons which you can utilize for your leveling. One will be more suitable for classes which have higher mobility, and the other for classes that do not have high mobility such as the Cleric classes. I'll also share with you the Royal Chest locations for these dungeons which will most likely continue to grind in even when you reach level 70 in either Master Mode or Abyss Mode. Before I proceed further, I'll just say upfront that this guide is probably meant for seasoned MMORPG gamers like myself, or anyone else who prefers setting themselves a goal and only to seek to achieve that goal in the shortest possible time ever. If you are interested in the lore, side quests and main quests, then you can stick up the quests up as much as possible for the same dungeons for efficient leveling while experiencing the storyline Dragoness has to offer. So it's pretty much up to your own choice, but here's the thing. The first argument against all out fast leveling in previous level caps was the farming of specific materials and items in game that is important if you want to have decent goal when reaching the level cap. This is no longer the case as Savik's crafting materials are no longer dropping with the introduction of Dragon Jade system. This meant that the only possible gold churning items are now the Dragon Jade themselves, as well as the new flawless great gems which are new to everyone with a race of the level cap. Level 70 rare Dragon Jade can only be dropped from the new level 70 dungeons in Master or Beast mode. Without your newfound level 65 passive skill and level 70 EX skill, you will find yourself struggling in Master mode unless you are extremely geared, and needless to say, Abyss mode will be extremely tough, similar to every level cap race. This meant that if you want to start farming those royal chests for flawless autiums and dragon jade that drops from it, you will need to be level 70, which is why it is extremely important to get to level 70 if you want to earn some decent gold from the economy while it is still new with the new flawless gems. But 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 Kazoo, in the past, bot quest grinding can only be done with master mode. If master mode is as hard as you say it is, how are we going to level? Well, this is where the game developers have changed the fundamental portion of the game. Repeatable bot quests can now be completed at hard mode instead of master mode. Yay! Before I get to that, leveling in Dragoness is basically running the fastest possible dungeon which has a bot quest and doing that repeatedly until you reach the level cap. I've done the whole for you and narrowed it down to two dungeons, namely Golden Meadow and Valley of Eclipse. With around 16,000 magic attacks similar to my level 60 Moon Lord, I've ran Golden Meadow in hard mode and managed to clear it in 2 minutes and 18 seconds. Similarly, I managed to finish Valley of Eclipse in 3 minutes. However, I have to admit that I was more familiar with Golden Meadow compared to Valley of Eclipse which meant that VOE can be cleared indefinitely under the 3 minutes range. Both playthroughs of the two dungeon runs will be available to you to watch later in the video, where you can take the opportunity to learn how and where the monsters will spawn and probably where you want to use your AoE and ultimate skills for clearing the dungeon efficiently. More importantly, you will also realize that Golden Meadow will be great for solo leveling with classes with high mobility and Valley of Eclipse for classes that have lower mobility. Players who load rather slowly can also be pleased to know that aside from the first loading screen you will see when entering the dungeon, there will be no further loading screens in these two dungeons. So Kazoo, where exactly are the location of these two dungeons? How do we get there? Well, basically you need to find a wild portal around the new Sin Haven, and then choose to go to the east gate where a new Arendelle lies. Enter the portal at the east gate and proceed down the right pathway all the way until you see another path on the left. You will see the red dungeon portal and both Golden Meadow and Valley of Eclipse can be entered from that portal. Now down to our final few tips that you need to know, well whether you encourage or discourage you will depend on your perspective on things. Firstly, the hard mode repeatable bot quests don't come to you just like that. You will need to complete a series of 7 bot quests which includes 2 which you will need to run at at least hard mode and master mode respectively to clear after which the hard mode repeatable bot quest will be available to you. So the video is titled Leveling Guide for level 60 to 70 in around 24 hours. But the thing is this, it is actually a lot faster depending on this one factor which I cannot confirm until the game patch is completed on the live server. For those who don't know already, the hybrid FTG system is no longer applicable to the new level 70 dungeons. You will realize that even at level 60, Running the new level 70 dungeon at hard mode will require 187 FTG, instead of the usual 15 to 18 FTG in level 60 and below dungeons. The funny thing was that when I reached 0 FTG, my dungeon EXP did not decrease at all. This is probably due to the fact that the hybrid FTG system is not applicable to the new level 70 dungeons. 
This is the factor that can either half the time taken to level up to 70, which means that it is actually possible to hit 70 in 12 to 13 hours, or as mentioned in this video, possible in just under 24 hours. Here's the math. The total amount of EXP required to reach level 70 from 60 is around 187 million. Completing Golden Medal or Value of Eclipse at hard mode will give you around 315,000 EXP. Bot Quest will give you a static 337,000 EXP, which meant that combined, you'll receive around 652,000 EXP per run, which will get slightly lesser as you level up as dungeon EXP will decrease as you increase in level. If dungeon EXP does not decrease when FTG is zero, this meant that it will take exactly 287 runs of Golden Medal at 2 minutes and 30 seconds to reach level 70. That is the equivalent of around 12 hours. However, if dungeon EXP is decreased when FTG is zero, assuming that dungeon EXP is zero, we will first need to deduct the runs that can possibly run slow in hard mode with FTG, which is around 4 runs of 652,000 EXP, and then you will take exactly 547 runs worth of bot quests ran in 2 minutes and 30 seconds on average which is around 23 hours. Either way, all this can be faster if you ran in a party since dungeon run times will be faster. In other words, it is indeed possible to reach level 70 from 60 in under 24 hours if you are focused enough regardless of FTG. The primary contributing reason will be the fact that you can finish repeatable bot quests in hard mode. This brings us to our final tip which will be the location of the royal chests in these dungeons via a short video footage and then you can carry on to watch the playthroughs of Golden Meadow and Valley of Eclipse by a level 60 moon lord. I hope this over 6 minutes of explanation and insights will be useful to you in your leveling from 60 to 70. Share this video with your fellow Dragonite friends who are going to be leveling alongside you later this week. Thanks for watching once again, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the upcoming Knowing Your Level 70 EX Skills videos. Goodbye.
Hello everybody, once again, this is Sakawa Kazu. Welcome back to another Knowing Your Skills episode. 